Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be going over the hand knit items that I have made my daughter Evelyn so far this year. And I did do this video for my son Charlie as well and I can link that down below for you if you want to check it out. I just thought it'd be kind of a fun little time capsule sort of thing. But before I get into those hand knit items, I wanted to talk about a different hand knit item and that is the sweater that I'm currently wearing. At the beginning of these videos, I do like to talk about whatever hand knit I am wearing that day and just kind of let you know what the pattern is. So this is the Puntilla by Hohi Locatelli. It is made out of a Malabrigo sock yarn in the colorway Pearl. And I've had this for probably three or four years. I absolutely love it. It's got a really nice boxy design to it. And there is an option to put lace details on the cuff and the bottom hem. I didn't do that on mine, but it is a really cool detail and definitely something to consider. But yeah, I really love this sweater. And let's talk about the ones that I have made for Evie this year. So I have five sweaters that I have done sort of. One is a skirt, so I don't know that you'd consider that a sweater. But anyway, the first one that I have to share with you is Anna's Summer Cardigan. And this one's going to be hard to see because it is out of a black yarn. This is in the, this is the Cascade Heritage yarn in the colorway True Black. And it's got eyelet details all over it. It's really, really pretty. Very simple cardigan, easy to throw on over anything very versatile you can wear it year round and it looks amazing and this one is very similar to another cardigan that i've made my daughter it was the dandelion cardigan by anna dervo or along avec anna and yeah both of these little cardigans are so pretty if you are just kind of starting into sweaters i would recommend this one over the dandelion cardigan but that dandelion cardigan is so, so cute. I've kind of been itching to make it again. And that particular one I had knit when I was expecting my son. And so I made one for Evie and then I made a matching one for a potential baby sister, but she didn't get her baby sister. So yeah, it was a really fun cardigan to make and that's probably more what made me want to knit it twice than anything. But yes, on a summer cardigan is also a really fun one. I love all of those eyelet details. It's just a really pretty little cardigan. So that was my first item that I just had on this little pile. This is not chronological at all, but that was the first one that I had on my lap. So the next one is also by Petite Knit and this is Harold's dress. I love this one. Evelyn probably would have worn it today but she's kind of under the weather. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's also out of a Cascade Heritage yarn in the colorway navy. Really, really simple, very pretty. It does have an elastic neckband here so you use I think a quarter inch elastic and you sew it right into the neckband there and then there's a gradual increase in these rib stitches at the top which form that yoke and the rest is stockinette with a folded hem on the cuff and the bottom so very simple elegant classic piece that I think she'll get a lot of use out of I really love this one and then there's a similar one that's called the Anchor's Dress that I'll have to make for her in a couple months here. I love that one on her in the winter, particularly out of like a white Stellina yarn. It's so pretty, but yeah, there's my Harold's Dress. I think it's really cute and she hasn't gotten a lot of use out of it this summer. It has just been way too warm, but in a couple months here it'll cool down and she can wear it quite a lot. So I'm kind of looking forward to that, but I'm also really, really soaking in these warmer weather months. So yeah, kind of one of those I'm excited, but not. Does that make sense? Then I have a little tank top for her, which she has been wearing quite frequently. And this is the Bohemian Ruffle Top by Pernell Larson. I love this one. I think all of her items this year have been made out of that Cascade Heritage yarn just in varying colors. So I need to branch out in her wardrobe, but yeah, haven't done that quite yet. So this is the Bohemian Ruffle Top and this is 
out of that Cascade Heritage yarn again in the colorway Golden Yellow. Love this. So for this particular little tank top, you start at the bottom with a knitted cast on, but it does have this little pico edge on it as well. And then you work up to the middle here where you decrease and then you work the front first and then you have all of the other stitches on hold. You pick up stitches for the back and knit that up and then you work the side panels and then add the ruffle at the end. It's finished with an I-cord neckband and then a little button in the back. Very, very cute. It's a little bit complicated, but it's also stockinette, so it's not the hardest thing that I've done by Prina Larson, but it is a little challenging. So if you're up for just a slight challenge, this would be a good one. It's so cute on Evie, I really love it. But yeah, I just really like Pernil Larson's patterns, I think. And actually, I do have a full video about my top 10 favorite patterns by Pernil Larson, and I can link that below if you want to check it out as well. That one is definitely on it, as well as the next two items that I'm gonna show you. So the next one is the mullet skirt, and mullet means fish, not the hairstyle. So it's got these slipped stitches all over it that kind of mimic a fish's scales. And it's really cool. I really like it. It reminds me of something that a little kid could wear if they were going to school with a uniform. But I don't know. I just think it's so cute and classic. It does have a tendency to snag though. So when Evie's playing, sometimes she'll get it caught. Um, she'll get the little slip stitches caught on things and it'll pull. It does go back to normal pretty easily, but that is something to watch for if you've got a fairly rambunctious child. But really easy pattern. I don't remember if I started from the top or the bottom. I feel like it must have been the bottom. I think I started from the bottom, but I can't remember offhand. So yeah, loved that skirt. Evie does think that it's sort of boring, but I think that that's more due to the colorway that I chose. I ended up using a camel colorway from Cascade Heritage, and I don't think that it had the impact that she was hoping. If I were to have done it in like a purple or a blue or a green, one of those traditional mermaid colors, it probably would have had a bigger impact, but I didn't and it looks more like a school uniform so I think it's super cute but it's not one that she reaches for a ton. She does wear it and she will pick it out herself just not as often as I probably would. So then the last little sweater that I wanted to share with you is my favorite. It's a little bit dirty because she wore it yesterday and she might have had a little bit of chocolate but it is the blueberry blouse and this is in the colorway white. This I have done so many times for her. And in fact, I did finish another one of these this year for her, but it's one that I started a while back. So I didn't think that it was really necessary to include it in today's video. Her other one is a bright pink and she likes that one better, but I have plainer tastes. So just like the mullet skirt that I made out of that camel colorway, I really like it out of the white better but that's just me so this one is a really fun one to knit as well so you start in the beginning or right in the middle here not in the beginning you begin in the middle and then you work outwards towards the end of the neckline here and then you mirror that on the back connect them up so that you can finish out the shoulder and then you work on the um, arm here the sleeve and then you pick up stitches on the other front end, go to the neckline, pick them up on the back, go to the neckline, and then you can finish out just like on the other side here. So it's a fun construction. It does utilize some short rows. I think that they used the wrap and turn method, but I substitute for German short rows on everything. And then the other thing that I do tend to change on this is that I will uh, Kitchener the sides rather than seam them at the end. And then I do also work the sleeves 
in the round, which takes a little bit of thought, especially when you get towards the end because there's a little bit more short row shaping in here, so you really have to get creative. But I, I just don't like seaming so much. So yeah, the other thing I wanted to talk about with this is that this lace yoke is so pretty. I just love the just really flowy details of it and then the little bobble edges that kind of create that blueberry effect are really pretty. And this pattern goes all the way down the sleeves. So if I can kind of rotate it so that you can see the shoulder here, you can kind of see that it all just blends together really, really nicely and it goes, yeah, all the way down the sleeves. So I love this. All of the little details are so pretty. I did have two little buttons in the back here. I think that she does say that you can do one or two buttons. I think it looks better with two personally. It has kind of depended on the style of yarn that I've used, whether I do one or two buttons. But for the most part, I think I've done two. So anyway, that is it for the sweaters that I have knit Evelyn so far this year. I will hopefully do another of these videos at the end of the year where I talk about the rest of the sweaters that I make. Maybe I'll compile everything in one video, but I feel like that might get a little bit overwhelming. So we'll just kind of play it by ear and see how everything goes. But yeah, I really, I love doing kids knits. That's probably my favorite thing to do, even above selfish knitting. I do like selfish knitting. It's just so much fun to knit for kids. They're small, they're cute, they can get away with a lot more details than I can, and it's just really fun. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, certainly give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!